recently had a, uh, a visit with SQ Labs and they gave us a whole load of kit. So we've got a special measured saddle from SQ Labs with all the right uh, details for my uh, for my structure, bone structure. So that will appear in a later video. This, which is a special grip based on my hand measurement and also a special bar based on my shoulder width. So we're gonna install all of this on the Torque On, which is my mule from Canyon. Pretty amazing bike. And I'm also gonna throw some new tires on there. Pirelli, so we're gonna start piling through a load of tire tests because I think it's quite interesting. So these are brand new tires, we're gonna put those on there. Get this bike up to some kind of modern, let's call it modern, more advanced level of spec. The important details of this saddle are the fact that it's a 15 centimeter width. So if you look at the picture there, it's designed exactly for my sit bones. So it's a different feel to it than I've seen on other saddles, but it looks pretty amazing. Now they're not cheap, they're 199 euros, but apparently this will solve any uncomfort issues. And I have to say, I've got another test saddle on there at the moment, which is a super lightweight one, and it's terrible, I can't use it. Now I've also got this new stand from Feedback Sports, which is pretty amazing, and it's designed for e-bikes. So I'm gonna like now put that bike in the stand properly. Wow, that was easy. So yeah, so saddles are a bit of an interesting one. I often find myself really <laughs> can enjoy a bike ride based upon whether the saddle was a good experience or a bad experience. So I can get the saddle off. Now, honestly, getting saddles off can be annoying, but just back them all the way off. Good idea to fit gloves, because it just helps with the risk of hurting yourself. So, here's my, here's my SQ saddle. It's also got another feature, which is really important, which is the fact that it has a slight bit of flexibility built into here, so the saddle is allowed to move in this direction. So it's not just the rails, it's the actual uh, saddle moving as well. Tightened and we'll set the level later when the bike's on the ground. Now we're going to move to the bar. It's a bit more involved, but we'll change the whole bar over. Well, that was interesting. Uh, new tires fitted, good. That's great. So, got the bike with the new tires on. There we go. And there she is. New bikes fitted, uh, new tires fitted. Great. As always, tubeless can be a bit of a mess. Look at that huge pile of liquid all over the floor as <laughs> I put it on. I put on the tire and I put the liquid in and I moved the tire around and yeah. And then it basically, it just, I dropped it. It went in every direction. It's like, ah, before I'd closed the tire on the rim. Anyway, slight problem with that. And then it, this liquid sticks to everything. Doesn't wash out. You've got to wash it out immediately. Otherwise, I've got these new riding shoes and they got splattered. <sighs> liquid and tubeless it's a bit of a pain but it's uh it's done so that's the main thing now interestingly i wanted to talk about the old tires i mean they have stood up really really well they are impressive tires uh this front one's still got a bit of grip well still got grip left on it so keep this for an emergency in case i make a hole in the other one or we'll put it on another bike for, but yeah so far i would say scorpion s Hypo EMTB tyres, they last really, really well and never got a puncture with these. Never got a puncture. They are very, very robust. Let's get this right. Saddle height is super personal. Now, I tend to ride mine flat to slightly nose down. Some people run nose up, I run nose down. All depends on your anatomy. So, slightly nose down for me and it's comfortable. Oh, the stand is so good. It's light to move, but it's strong. Now, I don't like this type of bolt clamping, I have to say. I think saddle seat posts need to improve their 
bolt clamping styles. So almost ready, it's also not dead straight. So I need a four. I think at this point, here's the bike, we're kind of ready to, uh, to test this. Just sitting on the saddle, it feels comfortable. I've never felt a saddle like that. It feels kind of perfect. Wow. So I'd be interested to get some time on that, but that's the saddle there. So 15 centimeters as at anatomically measured by the app and the computer system and the SQ Labs people. So I'm very impressed. The bar feels interesting. So we're gonna go and take this for a ride and we'll do a mini review in a few days about what we think about the SQ saddle and grips and bar. I think that'll be interesting. Okay, all right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep following us day by day. We're uploading daily at the moment, so, so we'll see you soon.